launched slip, uh, slips down the skids with uniform acceleration. That means initially uh, the ship is under the state of rest. So when it started, so initial velocity is equal to 0 meters per second. If 10 seconds is required to traverse first 4.8 meters. So time t is equal to 10 seconds which is required to traverse for first 4.8 meters. So this is the first distance. So consider with suffix 1. So T1 is the time required to traverse a distance of 4.8 meters. What time will be required? What time will be required to travel a total distance of 120 meters? So if the ship wants to travel a total distance of 120 meters, so then what will be the time required? So this is the question. So let us take these two para uh, parameters with suffix 2. With what velocity v will the ship strike the water? So final velocity is also asked. So here for any problem the first thing you need to calculate is uh, acceleration. So here initial velocity is given there and time is mentioned and displacement is given. So u t s and I want to find acceleration. So the equation associated with these parameters is s is equal to ut plus half a t square and here the equation is associated with parameters 1 so mention there s1 is equal to uh, given that 4.8 meters and initial velocity is equal to 0 so it will be 0 plus half acceleration is the unknown parameter t is a 10 so 10 square from this you can find the acceleration so which is nothing but 4.8 divided by uh, 50 so you will get uh, 0 0.096 meters per second square so this is the value of acceleration now consider the second case so here you are asked to calculate the time uh, required to travel a total distance of 120 meters so again use the same relation s is equal to ut plus half a t square so here for the second case so consider with suffix 2 so here i need to find the t2 value so s2 is given as 120 meters initial velocity uh, for the ship is 0 so it will become 0 plus half into acceleration is 0 0.096 into t2 square from that uh, I can find the value of uh, t2 so t2 square I will get 2500 uh, uh, when I solve this one so from this t2 is equal to 50 seconds so that means the time required to travel a distance of 120 meters is 50 seconds so now I need to find the final velocity with which the ship will uh, strike the water so I know the initial velocity I know the acceleration I know the time so total ta distance uh, traveled is 120 meters to travel that so I know the time so I need to find uh, final velocity so the relation is v is equal to u plus at why because I know initial velocity 0 acceleration I know and to travel total distance so of 50 seconds Oh, sorry to travel a total distance of 120 meters oh, within a time span I know that is 50 seconds so that means initial velocity is 0 and acceleration is 0 0.096 into time is 50 seconds from that I can find the final velocity which is nothing but 4.8 meter per second square so this is the final velocity So this is the final velocity. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, click on like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.